pack with me for Ibiza guys, except I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually got back from Ibiza a week ago today and I've still not unpacked my suitcase. So I thought what I would do is I would film a little unpack with me because I still wanna show you like all my outfits and like all my little like travel essentials slash travel hacks and stuff like that. Every time I go on holiday, I say I'm gonna film a pack with me. I always end up packing like the night before, so I never actually have time to film the video. So yeah, I'm gonna film a little unpack with me. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I just cannot be asked unpacking when I get back off holiday. I need like a full week to recover. All of my outfits are in like these little sheen bags. I'm pretty sure when I was repacking to come home that I put everything in the correct bag. So all the outfits should still be together. But yeah, I actually really annoy myself with stuff like this. And I'm going on holiday again in 10 days. So I'm gonna be repacking this suitcase. And I actually am gonna try and film a proper pack with me for that one but yeah let's unpack my Ibiza suitcase together I feel like it's going to be so interesting to see what I actually didn't end up wearing because we were going for a week so I feel like I just overpacked with loads of different outfits because I didn't know if we were going to do anything like last minute I didn't know if we were going to go for any like meals or anything like that so yeah we had like a plan obviously of everything that we wanted to do and we did pretty much stick to that plan so a lot of these things I didn't actually end up wearing um also a lot of these outfits are probably going to be on my vintage because I'm not going to be re-wearing them I'm going to go through my outfits and tell you like what event and stuff that I was wearing them for um there's going to be no sort of like structure to this video I'm just going to pick up a bag and I'm going to show you what we've got but basically I like to put all of my outfits in these little sheen bags because I feel like it's just a lot more organized and I feel like I know where everything is I wish I could show you what my suitcase actually looks like one sec so like this is what my actual suitcase looks like so everything's in these little bags and then obviously I have like my shoes and stuff the suitcase is upside down so usually the shoes would be on top um but yeah I've got like my shoes and everything and then all of my like appliances like I said the suitcase is upside down so everything else is in like the little netting thing at the back I put like all my bags and like my electricals in the little thing which is usually up here but this is the wrong way around. Yeah, I'm gonna go through all my outfits first, then I'll do my shoes, and then I'll go through like my makeup, and like appliances, and stuff like that. First thing in this bag is just some pajamas. I literally wore the same pajamas for like a week straight, which is um, so disgusting, but I actually only took one pair. Um, so they need to go in the wash. Next we have my glitter box outfit, which was honestly one of my favorite outfits. I feel like I'm definitely gonna keep this because I wanna go to glitter box in manchester i think it's in november or december um so i might actually rewear this outfit because i never end up getting pictures anyway but i just got this little pink top from sheen and then i got this pink little skirt which is also from sheen this was out of stock for literal weeks and i didn't think it was actually going to come in time i had to pay 12 pounds for express delivery but oh my god i absolutely love this i bought loads of my skirts from sheen and they're all actually skirts which is so good because these are quite short i just wore this with my cream cowboy boots i think I think I wore cream cowboy boots or I wore my black sandals because cowboy boots are so uncomfortable. My mum's going to be fuming as well because there's going to be so much washing when I've finished unpacking this bag. My next outfit was my Musicon outfit, which is quite similar to my glitter box outfit. I am quite basic when it comes to like outfits and stuff um, in Ibiza and like for events. I don't really go like all out. When I was younger, I did used to go like all out with my Ibiza outfits, but now I'm 26 next week. So I'm cracking on a little bit. So I need to keep it like age appropriate so music on outfit i just got this little red top which i actually put this on and it felt more like orangey so i didn't actually end up wearing it i ended up wearing the skirt with a white top but i got this from sheen and then i got this red little disco skirt which is from ego this cost me like 32 pounds for this skirt and the quality is just it's not great there's like tiny little bits of loose thread like coming off it um again i'm probably gonna sell this on my vintage for like a tenner because no one's paying 30 quid for that with the quality that it is but yeah i didn't actually end up wearing this red top and lucy wants to borrow it because we're going to ibiza in 10 days like i mentioned at the start yes i'm going back to ibiza for the third time this year the next thing i took with me was this skirt which i actually got from new look i did a collab with new look last month I actually cannot believe I'm saying that, but I found this skirt in there and it's like pink with these little cherries and I really wanted to wear this, but I didn't know what to wear it with or where to wear it to. Um, but I was thinking like a little red bikini top. I feel like I could possibly wear it with this red top here, but then I'm like, what shoes do you wear? I feel like I need some chunky, like neutral sandals because this sits like just above 
your ankles so i didn't actually end up wearing that so that's why it's still got the tag i got this in store at the trafford center it was 26 quid and yeah i'm gonna repack that because i'm actually gonna take that with me next time and hopefully wear it this time the next outfit i took with me was this little score and top from sheen this skirt is actually part of a co-ord and i accidentally ordered two skirts i just ended up wearing it with this little cream top which Again, it's from Sheen. If you haven't noticed, all of these tops are exactly the same. They're just in different colours. But these tops, I think, are about £3. And honestly, the quality of them is unreal. So we went to this place called Sunset Ashram which is about a 20 minute taxi ride away from San Antonio but I wore this to that meal with my Gucci sliders which absolutely ripped my feet into shreds so I will not be wearing them again but the colours on this are pretty similar um but I didn't actually get a nice picture so again probably gonna retake this outfit with me next I took this little dress which I actually got from AliExpress again I didn't end up wearing this I'm not gonna lie it was like 33 degrees and this is quite thick like knitted material um, so I didn't actually end up wearing that. I feel like I'm going to save this for when I go to Lake Como at like night time because it's not going to be as hot there. Another outfit that I didn't actually end up wearing but I love this so much. Again, I might take this when we go in September. It's this little Zara dupe. I got it from AliExpress. I think it was about a tenner. Um, I get a lot of my like holiday and Ibiza outfits from AliExpress so I'll leave my link tree below which has got all of my AliExpress links in there. So if you are interested in anything, it will be down there. But I got this little woolly diamante co-ord. So it comes with this little halter neck top and then it comes with these matching shorts. These are like extremely high waisted and I just feel like they're not flattering at all. So I don't think I'm ever actually going to wear these shorts but this top I feel like would look nice with denim with like a little matching denim bag and then some cream cowboy boots. So again I'm going to take this with me because I could possibly wear that to glitter bot. Another outfit I didn't actually end up wearing but I borrowed this off my friend Faye. I can't remember where she said she got it from but it was handmade by Chloe or something. I'll leave it in the comments below but it's this little two piece. So it's this little bralette and then it comes with this matching skirt which I keep holding everything upside down but honestly this is stunning. I think she is selling it on a vintage for like 75 quid so i'll leave that below as well in case anyone wants to buy it but again i didn't end up wearing this and i'm so sad about that because it is literally stunning again another outfit that i didn't end up wearing but I this little co-ord from ego which i am actually going to wear next time because we're going to destino and i feel like this is a perfect little destino outfit but i got this little frilly top and then it comes with these matching shorts these shorts are so flattering they are low waisted but they do cover like all of your bum up so i think i'm gonna wear that with my cowboy boots these ones which i will show you in a moment and then i was thinking should i get like a little cowboy hat or is that gonna be too much because it is like 35 degrees in ibiza right now i was thinking this with my little cowboy boots and then maybe like a little black bag um but yeah i'm gonna put that in another sheen bag because i'm gonna repack that and take that with me next we have this red little two-piece i don't usually wear red but i felt like this year in ibiza i just wanted like a pop of color i've barely brought anything black and normally all of my outfits are like black and white but i got this little co-ord from missy empire they very kindly sent me this and it comes with the matching bralette if i can figure out how that goes but it's just a red lace maxi skirt and it comes with this um i wore this when we went for a meal we went to cheeky one which is like a little chinese restaurant in san antonio which is unreal very expensive for what it is because the portions are quite small i think we ended up getting like three mains some duck and a few sides like between us and it was like 150 pounds if i can remember rightly like this was very like on theme for the restaurant because it's all like red and stuff um so yeah i wore this don't know if i'm ever gonna wear this again because i just felt like i didn't suit it so i am probably gonna put this on my vintage if anyone is interested in that then actually took a few things for the old town because i thought we'd end up going twice i thought we'd go during the day and then i thought we'd go at night time for like a meal on like a separate day because we did have quite a few like free days um so i did take this paisley like ruffle maxi skirt which is from plt i'm sure you've all seen this and i did actually wear this with like a yellow bikini top which is in here somewhere i just ended up going at like four o'clock for some dinner and i did take the second outfit to get changed into but we were so rough that i didn't actually end up doing that so again i'm gonna take this one but this is another co-ord from sheen it's a little maxi skirt with like this rose detailing on the front and then it's got like a slit at the front and then it comes with a matching little halter neck top with a rose and a little really bit i'm absolutely obsessed with this it's so flattering and i think it only cost me about 14 pounds so 
again i'm gonna repack that because i'm gonna take that with me because me and lucy are going to the old town for a nice meal as well so i'll probably end up wearing that there this is honestly my favorite dress ever i got this from tiktok shop it is such good quality and it only cost me like nine pound but i wore this for paradise with my little cream cowboy boots absolutely obsessed with that dress again don't think i'm gonna wear it again because i have worn it like three times now but i do want to keep it just in case i'm ever going on like a night out and i don't have anything to wear so i'm gonna keep that i did also take this little rah rah skirt from sheen which again i didn't end up wearing i was gonna wear this with like a little pink or a cream top um but yeah i didn't end up wearing that so i'm gonna take that again this was my aunt's outfit i have actually worn this before i wore this in barcelona so if you've watched my barcelona outfit haul this would have been featured in that it's basically just this little scarf like two-piece it's this little skirt which it does look see-through but it's actually not um and then the top is actually just a scarf which wraps around and covers your boobs and then you tie it in a knot at the front so i wore that with like a bikini top underneath um for ants and when i wore it in barcelona i just didn't feel nice at all um but this year in ibiza i actually felt quite comfortable in like all of my outfits and like with what i look like and all i've been doing is incline walking and when i went to ibiza last year i was actually doing like weight training and i was so uncomfortable in my body so i've realized i am just a cardio queen i am in my cardio era and i'm just gonna stick to cardio because i actually enjoy that um but yeah going off on a tangent back to the unpack with me this is such a chaotic unpack with me i've literally got clothes all around me right now but it's fine we're just down to like extra little packers now and then we'll move on to shoes swimwear and accessories and stuff like that um but i took my denim shorts obviously an essential i ended up wearing them pretty much every day i did take this little pasha top from stradivarius i've had this for about four years never actually worn it and i take it to ibiza every single year that i go and i never end up wearing it so hopefully if I go in September, I will end up wearing it. I took this little pink bikini cover up and I wore this with a little pink floral bikini. I absolutely love this. I actually got this for £4 from PLT because it was in the sale. So I wasn't actually expecting much from it. But honestly, the quality of this is so nice. And it does look quite thick because it's like knitted, but it's quite a thin like material. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be taking that again. We're meant to be going to a beach club. We're meant to be going to Blue Marlin. Um, so I did take this little swimsuit and I was going to wear it with this little cover up and a starfish necklace and my wedges but we didn't end up going because it was fully booked so i am going to retake that with me and i'm probably going to wear this for ocean so me and lucy are going to ocean beach on saturday which me and morgan didn't do this year i also got this little cover up from plt as well this was also in the sale i think it was about eight pounds again i don't usually wear yellow but i feel like when i've got a tan I do actually like yellow on me but i bought this little cover up it is again it's like knitted so i wore this at night when we was going watching the sunset just over like a little white bikini um it is a little bit see-through obviously it is just a cover up so i didn't actually get any pictures in this so i am going to take this again now i think we're just moving on to like bikinis and stuff i didn't actually take that many bikinis with me um because we did only have like two or three days where we were chilling around the pool. I'm sure I've got more than what I've got right now. I took this little floral one, which this one is the best for tanning. I pretty much wore this one every single day because it's not got that much like coverage. So your tan lines aren't that bad. I did take this little pink bikini top because I was going to wear this with the paisley little skirt. But like I said, I didn't end up wearing that. So I'm going to retake that as well. This is the little yellow bikini top that I wore with the paisley maxi skirt. I wore that to the old town. Again, I'm going to retake that one with me. And then I just took this little black crinkle bikini which is my go-to bikini other than that i think that's pretty much everything i did take this bikini as well which is this little floral one which again i didn't end up wearing so i'm gonna retake that and i bought this little prince wrong to wear with that so again i'm gonna take that one with me i'm gonna have to sit here now and like repack everything that i want to retake with me but moving on to shoes my main footwear was actually my dock sandals which are upstairs and can't be asked going getting them um i literally wear them religiously so they're what i traveled in and i wore them to pretty much most events um i did take my cowboy boots obviously wore these on the first night and my feet were in absolute agony so yeah i will probably take them again but they are the most uncomfortable shoes i've ever worn in my life these are my favorite cowboy boots ever i got these from plt i didn't actually end up wearing these because i wasn't wearing anything like 
plain. Do you know that these would actually match? I am going to take them. I think I'm going to wear them to Destino. I took my Gucci sliders. I'd never actually wore these before and they wrecked my feet. I literally had them on for about 20 minutes. They gave me so many cuts on my feet. So I don't know when I'm ever going to wear them again or if I do, I'm going to need to put plasters on um, because they are so uncomfortable. I did take my Birkenstocks, which I didn't actually end up wearing. Um, so I'm not going to take them again. I feel like I always take so many pairs of shoes and i never actually ended up wearing them i then took my wedges which again i didn't end up wearing i just assumed that we was going to go to like a beach club or something so i just wanted to bring some wedges just in case and then i just took my trusty primark flip-flops which i need some new ones of these i don't know if you can see in the heel how dented they are but again i literally wear them every single day and that is pretty much it for clothes and shoes bags i took three bags I took my little gold bag, which is from PLT. My favourite bag ever, which is this little cherry coach bag. Definitely taking this again. I bought this from an ad on TikTok. It wasn't TikTok shop. It was like a third party website and it took about two months to come and I thought I got scammed. But absolutely obsessed with this. And then the last bag I took was just my little LV Nano Speedy. Um, I do want the denim one of this. I think I'm going to get it um because i'm literally obsessed and i wear this all the time all of my stuff is actually from dhk please don't think i am fucking loaded because that is just not true all the links will be down below um if anyone's interested but yeah i don't want anyone sitting there thinking that i am rich rich i love myself a good dupe i'm not gonna lie um i did take these Mew Mew glasses which i got from aliexpress but i sat on them and i broke them um and i sent them a picture of them broke and they refunded me straight away they were only like four quid but still like i said she is broke she wants that four pound refund i did also take a little cap which i traveled in i didn't actually end up wearing that again the whole time that we was there a heatless curler obviously because i don't really like applying heat to my hair but this actually stopped working on like day two so i had no choice but to apply heat to my hair so i took my curlers with me which is the ghd curling tongue um i also always take an extension lead on holiday with me because i always only end up with one adapter um, so this is just really handy to like curl your hair, charge phone, charge camera, charge ring light, all at the same time. Um, so yeah, this is literally like a genius idea. My friend Abby told me about that like years ago and I've never not taken an extension lead on holiday now. I took about five hairbrushes. I take this one with me when I'm going out because it fits in my bag. This to slip my hair back with. This is just my little extension brush and a little tangle teaser. Don't ask me why I took both of them. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to set all of them. My little ring light, obviously, but well, this died on day two when we were filming our um, outfits of the day. So I need to charge that before we go back. I took a speaker, obviously, which will, again, be coming with me. And the last thing in my suitcase, apart from, like, charges and stuff, which is boring, was just my makeup and skincare. I don't know if you want me to go through my whole, like, makeup and skincare, but I'll just show you some essentials. Elemis Cleansing Balm. This is a must because I can't take my makeup off with anything else. I did bring my Away pomade, which I used to slick my hair back. Um, that is honestly one of my favourite products ever. And then makeup wise, I've just basically brought the basics. I did take this little shimmer oil, which I got from Boots before I went. Um, obviously, I took sun cream and stuff, which I left there. But other than that, I just took like my primer, my moisturizer which is my favorite moisturizer ever um obviously my lip stuff perfume and the only thing that i put on my face the whole time we was there was my elf halo glow which isn't in here so i assume i took it out the only thing i didn't actually take with me was like heat protect spray and stuff like that which um i don't think did great for my hair but um yeah and obviously my deodorant so that is everything that i took to a booth with me like i said i am going again in nine days today nine days so i've pretty much got all of my outfits um so yeah i'm gonna film an actual pack with me but if you've got any questions about where anything was from or anything like that just drop a comment and let me know but i think i pretty much did tell you where everything was from i feel like this video is so long but yeah next time i promise this will be an actual pack with me and i'll see you all in the ibiza vlog